Hey class, okay, so I'm going to be talking about fast food restaurants and why I believe they are unhealthy for our society. Fast food restaurants, by definition, are specific types of restaurants characterized by both their fast food cuisine and their minimal table service. After a long day of work or school, people find it easy and a fast way to eat for themselves or provide a satisfying meal for their family. I'm going to be talking about why this way of food is unhealthy for us and other alternatives we can eat in order to stay healthy. On average, one-fifth of the population of the United States, about 45 million people, eat in a fast food restaurant each day. Although it is possible to eat nutritious fast foods, menus tend to be stacked with items high on most dietitians' avoid list. Many fast foods are fried, high in fat and sodium, and low in fiber vitamins and some minerals. For example, if I go to Carl's Jr., I will typically order a Western bacon cheeseburger with fries and a chocolate milkshake. In just those three items alone, there are 1,930 calories. Based on a 2,000 calorie a day diet, this would be your only meal for the entire day. I used to be so attracted to the idea of having not to cook or wait for my food until I found out how unhealthy it is for me. Because the industry is becoming so international and having great advertisements, they become a major part of the United States population. It is said that a child can recognize the McDonald's logo or the character on a McDonald before they can even recognize their own name. They also pull kids in because they will offer toys or contests in through their meals. When I was looking up different fast food chains throughout the world, the United States had about 150 different options, whereas other countries, who on an average, had about seven different options. In high school, my class watched a documentary, Super Size Me, in my health class. There is, this is where a man went on an all-McDonald's diet for 30 days, three times a day. This was in order to prove that the court, that if a person eats this every day, they will come out as unhealthy. He also had to say yes if the clerk asked if he would like to supersize his order. In the first five days, he gained about 10 pounds and by the end of the 30 days, he gained about 25 pounds. On day 21, he even started getting heart palpitations. One of the doctors stated that the irreversible damage done to his heart could cause a heart attack even if he lost all the weight gained during the experiment. When it comes to prices, people may believe that it is an affordable alternative when in reality it will most likely be cheaper to feed a family with freshly bought and prepared food. For example, for example, my dinner tonight is barbecue chicken with rice and green beans. To feed my family of five, this whole meal will cost about $8. If I go to the meal that I was talking about earlier that I'll get from Carl's Jr., my meal would have costed about $7 alone. That is just to feed myself and not the rest of my family. People will also say that healthy food is more expensive. Although in some cases this is true, I believe that being healthy is more important than saving a couple extra dollars. If people just do not have the time to go buy and prepare their food, then there are some alternative foods that you can order at a fast food restaurant. With this society seeing that healthy is a more desirable option, fast food restaurants have created more healthy options. They've created more salads with low carb and low fat dressings, and they have created chicken sandwiches that are broiled and grilled instead of fried. Also, some of the healthiest fast food restaurants are ones without drive throughs such as Panera Bread or Chipotle or even Subway. In conclusion, I feel the health of our bodies is more important than saving time and money. When it comes down to it, if our bodies aren't healthy in the future, it may cost more in hospital fees, such as the man who did supersize me with his heart palpitations. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope that you decide to stay away from unhealthy fast food industries such as me.